Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and today is Monday, September the 18th, 2023, and this is my floss tube number 95. I would like to say hello and welcome to any new subscriber or viewer to my channel. I hope that you will stick around and allow me to enable you with a project or two. And to my returning friends, thank you so very much for coming back each and every time that I do upload a video. Um, it has been a good week. I had a good week of stitching. I had some uh, quilting time also. Um, oh, sorry. I don't know what. Okay. There we go. Um, I'm very low key down today. I got on my, uh, keep calm and stitch on t-shirt, which was made by, um, Athena of Stitching Goddess Design. She owns her own t-shirt business. I'll link her in the description box below. It was very chilly today. So, um, I ended up putting on a t-shirt that had sleeves, um, so that I wouldn't, because I, I still have my windows open, um, and it was like in the lower 50s, maybe 40s, upper 40s this morning, but um, it's been an interesting day today, as um, I had to take Albert to the vet. He suffers from severe allergies in the autumn. Um, and it's something to do with when the leaves turn and start falling. And it was traumatic for the both of us. He was traumatized because he ended up getting a shot and getting his nails trimmed, which he absolutely hates. And I was traumatized because it cost $300 by the time I walked out of that place. So y'all just... Uh, I love Albert. Lord knows I do because $300 like that was just a lot of money. So he will be my investments for the next uh, few weeks because, whoo. Um, but it was all in all a good week. I had good stitching um, except for I got slapped, and I'll talk about this more. I got slapped with a 1500 stitches ticket in the road trip um so that made the week interesting and that's about it just same old same old you know working through ab Singo. so let's just go ahead and dive right into it <clears throat> i don't have any new starts this week um so we're gonna start with the 12th because I filmed my last video on the 11th so on the 12th the letter z was called and my letter Z is Autumn Peg. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. Oh, let me show you the chart first. Okay. So this is Autumn Peg by Luhu Stitches. And if you recall, I was working down in a dress last time. And here's a picture of where it was when I was the last time I did work on it. And here is where I did end up getting to. I put in 219 stitches on this project. I'm going to move this and see. Okay. I put in 219 stitches in this project, which completed her dress. It put in some of these, they're supposed to be leaves um, motifs. And I came up and this is actually the top of the dress. So her little hands will go right here and then her face. You will probably be seeing this again in October or November. Um, it is my one of my um, autumnal pieces that I work on um, during this time of the year. So it was good to get a good start into her. As I was stitching on her, though, I was uh, kicking myself because there are a lot of quarter stitches in this piece. Um, so it made it like I was like really like 
stitch it to get my stitches in for it again I did put in 219 stitches on this piece and this is autumn peg by Luhu stitches I am stitching this on a 32 count I know, vintage country mocha and I'm using the called for um, there's one week's dye works and the rest are all um, DMC, and that's what I'm using on it. I haven't gotten to the week's dye work part yet. It is the leaves that will encompass or be all up in the top here. It's called Hot Rod, and it's a mixture of yellow and red. So that was Autumn Peg, and she was on the 12th. And it's Z for Zweigart because that is the fabric that I'm stitching it on. <clears throat> okay. For the 13th, the letter was S, and my S is Stitching Mommy, and that means that Temperature Butterflies got to come out again. And here is where my what my temperature butterfly will look like when I'm finished with it. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. So when you last saw this uh, last week, I had just finished the September or the last time I showed it saw where I had finished the September butterfly I went in and put in both I had both the um, wing and the body outline done I then um, when it got called again put in 403 stitches and put all of the veining in plus the first the second the third, the fourth, the eighth, and the eleventh, I think. I am color completing these um, as I go through. So since I have the complete butterfly done, I'm doing, if the color calls for 1066, then I do 1066 wherever it calls for in the butterfly. This is being stitched on a 28 count Artemis by B Stitch Me. And I am using a sulky conversion that I came up with for it. And that is where we are now with Temperature Butterfly. I will be working on the October Butterfly a couple of more times. And I'll explain why. Well, let me explain now. So, because of AB Singo, I have literally been stitching good progress every day and I've been making good progress because I stitch on one project a day and I stitch on it in the morning like normal and then I'll stitch on it in the evening also well the admins in the uh, road trip thought that I was going too fast so they hit me with a 1500 stitches speeding ticket and now I have to stitch those 1500 stitches before I can move forward in the road trip. So all the stitches that I'm stitching from now until whenever I get 1500 stitches will be for that ticket. So I'll be stitching on temperature butterflies so that I can see if I can get that ticket taken care of very quickly because I don't like to just be held um, in one place for too long on that trip with this trip um, I was a little upset when I saw that because I don't because I don't think they under nor probably do they even care about the fact that I'm stitching so many stitches because of AB Singo so that was on the 13th. On the 14th, the letter M was called, and I could not find my Meridian Designs January bikini. I didn't find it until the next day, so I have to make up 
M. Ooh. And I am drinking water. So please drink your water. I on the I got three different things here that I'm looking at to tell you what's going on with my stitching. So bear with me if I keep looking down. On the 15th, the letter P was called. And my P is Plum Street Samplers, the Black Cherry Tart. And what did I do with it? Oh. And that is this right here and here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it and here it is now so in person you can really see it better but I put in the beak the eye this neck piece in the start of this bird here and I did the the beak and the eye and the neck piece the neck part on both of the birds and then on the next bird I uh, just did it on just started his body on that first bird I am stitching this on, I think it's a 32 count. I'm sorry, it's a 36 count unknown scrap. And I did a color conversion on this. So the green that will go around the birds is a, I got it right here. Here's my color palette. So I'm using one cottage garden thread and it's it's the green and it's time and the rest of the gentle arts I switched between uh, Weeks Dye Works and Classic Color Works. I have one of the gentle arts threads and then the rest of them I changed over. And that is where I am now. I'm actually thinking that this chart could be brought out. Well, blackberries are more of a summer fruit. So maybe I need to move this from my autumn into my summer. Because I have my uh, whips and charts broken down into different categories and or seasons and so um i think i'm gonna move this one from i had it in autumn but i think i'm gonna move it and i think i had it in autumn because of when i started it last year well i started it last year in june so i don't know why i put it in autumn but i'm gonna move it to summer so that's my black cherry tart by Plum Street Samplers. I might need to change this bag out too. Okay, so that was on the 15th. On the 16th, the letter H was called and my H stands for Horner as in Tracy of Ink Circles. <clears throat> oh and again you will see that I stitched on seasonal sun sign I got confused for a minute I stitched on seasonal sun sign again and here's a picture of where it was the last time you saw it uh, 
and here is where we are now. So I added 265, oh, let me go back for a minute. For the Plum Street Samplers Black Cherry, I put in 197 stitches. And for Seasonal Sunshine, I put in 265 stitches. I complete, so I put in this band for the sun and I completed the entire sky. And so now I have to start working my way down um, and putting in the grass area. This project is slated to be finished this year. I have until December the 18th to get it finished. I know, I still got to work on this part over here. I'll get it. I just want to go ahead on and finish what I need to do. Um, I'm hoping that to finish it long before December the 18th. So, But that is where I am now with Seasonal Sunshine. And I need to get it done like in November because I'm, I want to put the beads on it to make sure that it is actually qualifying as a finish. So that was Seasonal Sunshine. I am stitching that on a 16 count Charles Craft Ada with the call for DMC colors. On the 17th, the letter K was called. And for my letter K, I picked letter letters from Nor uh, letter K from Nora Corbett. <laughs> And you just seen this one recently because I had it for another prompt the week before. So here is the chart and what it will kind of look like. I'm of course going to do a skin conversion and I'm actually thinking about doing um, a conversion on her dress also. And here's a picture of what it looked like the last time I showed it to you. And here is where it is now. So I came down and put some more green. And um, this was just yesterday. And I was like, I am tired of stitching green. Um, but I put in some more green for the garland that she is holding. And then I went over, because I was tired of stitching the green, I went over and started putting in the outlining for the K. So that is this area down and over here is where I got to. I added... 237 stitches on this yesterday. Now the garland does extend down, so I still have a lot more garland to go, but I wanted to work on another part of it other than the garland. I am stitching this on a 28 count, and I believe it's a touch of gray Lugana. And I am using the Call For Classic Color Works threads. That is my letter K. I might have to pause the video and close my window. There's something going on outside. She may not come out again until January. So, we'll just have to see where um, she fits at in my prompts. Because I already have October's prompts. So, it'll just depend. It's probably January, though. That was on the 17th. And I used her for travel. I traveled to Fancy Works in Bloomington, Indiana, and um, 
the reason why I used her is it said stitch on your fanciest whip. And I figured because she was a fairy and beading and all of that, that that made her fancy. And it's terrible because fancy, fancy works is not even open anymore. I feel so bad about that. Um, on the 18th, which is today, the letter A was called. I'm going to pause the video. Please hold. Okay, I'm back. Um, so today on the 18th, the letter A was called. And my letter A is... Arranging Leaves by Ink Circles. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And here is where I am now. So I filled in, pardon me, this leaf, this leaf, this entire leaf. And I got started on this leaf right here. This is being stitched on a 28 count beige Jobelin by Witch Elt. And I'm using the called for DMCs. With the exception of the outlining, I changed that from 3787 to 3371. I put 182 stitches in this this morning. This also, you will probably see it again soonish um, because it's an autumn piece. So, okay, just a few more to go. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, yesterday was also Sunday, and on Sundays, I haven't, for the past, like last week, I didn't get to it, and yesterday, I was like, I don't care, I'm stitching on Summer Quakers, I only have one more Sunday, which was yesterday, to stitch on it, so I stitched on Summer Quakers by Rosewood Manor. And here's what it'll look like someday. And if you recall, I was working in this area here. And here's a picture of where it was when I was last worked when I last worked on it. And here it is now. And I am happy to announce that I have. Finish the page. I have a page finished. Woohoo! Um, I I was super excited yesterday when I put it when I, you know, put in the page finish. I actually have gone over into the next section. So I added this motif right here, which is a butterfly. This leaf right here. And this is a part of another butterfly. So I actually did extend, you know, I went in, I went into the sec the second section a little more than what I needed to. I'm sorry, I'm just checking something to make sure. Oh yeah. So that is where I am now on Summer Quakers. I am stitching this on a 28 count Palomino by Atomic Ranch. I love it. And I'm using the called for Valdani's for it also. So that is where I am. And of course this will go away um, until next summer 2024 but i am loving it 
So if I could keep making good progress like that, it you know the near the far off distant past future won't be so far off because I was really you know maybe next time I'll work to do a page and a half finish or something like that so that I don't spend six years working on working on it but i was super excited yesterday i put in 114 stitches on that which brought me to the page finish and i have oh i have two more i have two more but i forgot to write one down on my sheet so i'll write it down so my next one is home sampler and I whined and complained about this last week um but the whining is over the whining is over and so this is home sampler by Doreen Jones and here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it And here is where I got to. So, let me tell you, if you recall, last week I whined and complained that I had made an error somewhere and that the width was off by two stitches. I was short two stitches on the width. And I didn't know what I was going to do because I'm not good at the whole fudge thing. But I talked to my friend EJ and we worked it out. What I did was I put in this middle flower and I put it in exactly where it falls within the chart. So it falls within made. So I lined everything up and put it in. Okay. Then I already had this urn in and it is spaced correctly from the the inside border here. Then I put in, I started putting in the flowers and I put in this flower. Then I went over here and put in this flower. Then I came back over, put in this flower. You know, I put in the flowers based on the spacing within the chart, within the chart. So I put in these two, I put in this red flower and this red flower. And then I, changed the shape of the middle flower to make it fit within the piece. I, I worked on this Friday night and I am telling you, I was so ecstatic. Now, when it comes up here to the house, I'm going to have to do the same thing. I'm going to put the house, start putting the house in before I put all of these flower things in down here, because the most important part is the house. So I'm going to put the house in and then I will put in all the other flowers and stuff that go in there. The only thing left now. Okay, so the, the vines or the stems for all these flowers are all backstitched. The backstitching for this flower be, will be shorter than for this one. But I'm okay with that because even though she made the pat pattern very symmetrical, in real life, flowers and trees are not symmetrical. Everything doesn't line up perfectly and all of that. So I'm okay with it being a little bit shorter here. And even when you just glance at it, you can't really tell that it's off very much. So... I also have to add all of the back stitching around here for all of these flowers. So I have a lot of back stitching done. It is possible though that with some focus work on this project, I could still finish it by the end of the year. I am a part of a group on Facebook. It's called uh, Year of Whips and it is ran by Melanie Watkins for all of you that are new to my channel. She set up this Facebook group. It started on January the 18th. Her birthday is December the 18th, and that's when Year of Whips will end. 
So I have until from now until December the 18th to see if I can get this project completed. I also have the same thing with seasonal sunshine and temperature butterflies. So I have three more projects to finish um, before the end of the year. And to be honest with you, um, last week I said this project will not be finished next for this year. Since I ha have had this all take place and work out okay, I could potentially finish all three of these projects. Now, it's going to require some real focus. I'm going to have to really work hard to put them in the magazine monthly acrostic, but I believe that I can get these three projects done. The unfortunate part is, is that you all <laughs> will have to look at them over and over and over again, um, you know, maybe a couple of weeks in a row or something, because I really want to push to get these last three projects done. I already I put six projects on my board and I've already finished three of them and it would be amazing for me to finish these last three. So that's where I am. And it looks really, really good. So this is Home Sampler by Doreen Jones. I am stitching this on a 28 count wrong card no name but it's probably um, a color and cotton or because I'm I've been in color and cottons fabric at a month club for a long time so it's probably a color and cotton and all of the threads are DMC so that's where I am on that and I am so excited like when I was stitching it on Friday, I was just like, I cannot believe that this is working out like this. But it did, and it is, and I'm just going to, you know, go up to the... Now, let me also say this. There's some filler stuff in here that I will not be putting in. So, like, these two hearts up here, I'm not putting those in. I'm not going to put in these black hearts down here. You know, I just... I know it's all for filler and to make it all, you know, but it, to me, it doesn't need it. And I don't need to uh, put those stitches in. So it's going to be more for me putting in all the back stitching around. So I'm going to start with the house. I'm going to count off the, you know, from down to the, this upper border. And then I'll start in on the roof and I'll work my way down. That's where I am on my home sampler. And it worked out really good that I uh, did pick this up since it's sampler September. I have a few samplers still yet to go. Um, would you believe that with all the stitching that I have done, I still don't have a bingo. So um, I have quite a few more projects sitting down in my basket that um, still have yet to be called. So I, the surprising thing is that I don't have a bingo yet. So that was home sampler. And I use that also for travel. I traveled to Persnickety Stitchers in Zion, Zionsville, Indiana. And I also used it for House of Stitches in LaPorte, Indiana. Um, and I stitched a total of 231 stitches on that project. My grandchildren are outside playing, and so I had to ask them not to be yelling and screaming because I didn't want y'all to hear all of that in the video. So, sorry for the, another, the extra pause. Okay, so my last project that I worked on this week, and I can't believe that I forgot it is one of my WIPCO calls, and it is Data Portrait in Paris, 1900. And this is by Shaded Stitchery. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it.
and here is where it is now. So I put in, oh, I have it written down on another page. So here it is right here. I have put in 729 stitches on this project, which met my whip go go. Okay. Which met my whip go go. I added um, this block, this block, and this block. I added the rest of the green stitches, and I think I added the last time this red stitch right here is one single stitch. But I know that I added both of these segments right there. Um, and I didn't. 89 stitches and then I put in so I put in two three ninety ninety I put in three hundred and eighty some stitches and it got me to my whip go goal of seven hundred stitches I put in seven hundred and twenty nine stitches right now I am 23.35% complete. I love working on this. Um, I think with each little motif, you know, the saying is always true. With each little motif, it's a mini finish. You get some, you know, some feel good from having a little mini finish. And so I'll... I really like working on this because it gives you that mini finish feel. I am stitching this on a 28 count color and cotton spell book. And I am using a DMC conversion. So that is where we are now. These are symbols that were used by W.E.D. Du Bois. As he discussed the uh, economical, social plight of Black Americans in 1900 in Paris. So that's where we are now with it. And I um, would re would really like to stitch on this again soonish. Um, because it is, like I said, it gave me some feel good. Um, and I, you know, was going down the page and now I was going across the page. So I'm going to have to look, you know, one of the things about doing a weekly video is, is that I feel like, and I, I hope this isn't true, but I feel like I show the same projects week after week. The one one of the good things about AB Singo is, is I'm showing you different projects because I'm stitching on a different project every day. Um, but I don't want you to get bored with what I'm showing you either. So it's like a double edged sword on stuff that I want to pick up and re you know, continue stitching on. But, you know, I'm trying to keep it interesting and trying to show you different things because I actually have a lot of whips. So, and I'm about to add to the pile. Um, again, I don't have a problem with the number of whips that I have. Um, I, I, I like starting things and I like working on things and so... I have plenty of things to start, let me tell you. Okay, so I forgot to add up what my stitch... Nope, I did add it up. So for this past week, I put in a total number of 1,965 stitches. Um, and I feel like that's a pretty good uh, week. I know that these numbers are high because of AB Stingo, and I'm fine with that. Whatever helps me get the stitches in, you know, is a good thing. So it doesn't concern me. I um, 
I might think about doing a daily rotation next year because I like working on different projects. The the uh, only thing is, is if I do that, I need to set a stitch goal for the project if I'm going to do a whip ro uh, daily rotation. Like I need to be able to put in at least 150, 250 something stitches so that I can keep it interesting for me to keep doing that. So I'm I'm um, toying around with that idea for my 2024 plans. It just it also depends on my timing because some things have changed and so starting. In February, I will have to go back. We will be considered hybrid, and I'll have to go back in the office two days a week, which is Tuesday and Wednesday, which will cut down on the time that I have to stitch in the morning. Because a lot of the stitches that I do, when you hear these numbers, I've stitched that I've stitched over a hundred stitches in the morning before I even touch it again in the afternoon. So you know um, that might put a wrinkle in things, but, um, let me know what you think. Do you think, you know, I don't know. I know Miss Shelia does a weekly, a daily, I'm sorry, Miss Shelia. I know you do a daily rotation and, um, she really seems to enjoy it. And I think with doing a daily rotation, I will get to touch way more whips than what I seem to touch now. So let me know what your thoughts are about that. Okay. So I didn't have any finishes for this week. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta put my stuff away. I'm trying to keep my area clean, 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 clean. I'm also gonna look at switching out my stitchy spot in 2024. Like I stitch, I work. I do everything that I do right here at my kitchen table. And I think it's time for me to like switch it up, switch it up some. So I know I got plans just rolling around all in my head from, you know, everybody's talking about their plans and I'm like, oh, I need to plan. I need to plan. So, okay. So speaking of plans, let's go over my plans for next this coming week. I will be keeping up with AB Singo. Again, I do not have a bingo yet, so I am going to be keeping up to see when I can get my first bingo. Like, a couple of the lines is like two letters or one letter. So, you know, odds are is that, like, I'll get my first bingo maybe tonight. Um, hopefully it's not in the same row that the M is in because then I might have to hurry up and stitch my Meridian design so I can get a uh, bingo. But I'm going to be keeping up with that on um, Thursday, September the 21st. I will be joining, joining along with the Sunshine Stitchers in the EFW Sal. It is Earth, Wind & Fire. And I will be working on Seasonal Sun Sign. I worked on that last year. So please make sure and join along with us. Um, follow the hashtag, hashtag EFWSAL on Instagram. And we will be posting our pictures there. So I'm pretty excited about that. I am also planning uh, for a new start this week. And I'm going to keep it a secret until I actually started. But I had planned to do a new start last week um, and then decided, no, not now. So I'm going to do one this week. Um, and I'm tossing a couple of things around um, that I have. So stay tuned for the new start. And I'll be going to Keepsakes on Saturday to hang out with my Stitchy family. Um, it's been a while since I've seen them, and so I'm going to go down and get some uh, good stitchy vibes for my stitchy family, and so that'll be really great. Okay, so I, <clears throat> on Saturday, I posted on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram and or Facebook, I posted that Saturday was National Jelly Roll, so a Jelly Roll Day, 
And that was a day that was started. It is always the third Saturday in September. It was started by Moda Fabrics. And I don't know how long ago Moda St Fabrics started it, but they did. Because they actually had the first jelly roll. They created the first jelly roll. Okay. Stuff is just falling around. So I showed a picture where I pulled out a jelly roll and I pulled out two. I pulled out a solid jelly roll, which was a uh, Kona Snow. And then I pulled out this jelly roll by Sandy Gervais. And I'm pretty sure it's an older jelly roll, but it is called Adele in Winter. And that is the picture. I'm trying to get it to focus, but. And so it is a uh, holiday Christmas um, jelly roll. I am in the um, making of the Christmas gifts mindset right now. This is probably the earliest I've ever started making Christmas gifts. I um. Because I, there's only a few people that I make Christmas gifts for. Um, and so this is the earliest. And I have started a couple of different things with the hopes of getting them completed by Christmas. Let me just say it that way. Because I know like some of them watch and some of them don't watch. And so I'm not going to give names. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just going to say... I'm making Christmas gifts, and that's the end of it. So the pattern that I chose, oh, I left it in the living room. It's a layer, it's a jelly roll pattern that I pulled off of Fat Quarter Shop. They have tons and tons of free patterns on their website. They have them for jelly rolls, layer cakes, fat quarters like they have a ton of uh jelly roll or any kind of pattern you want to make on their website so i went to their free patterns and i pulled one off and it is called i can't believe i didn't write it down anyway it has two blocks so let me show you the first block is this block. It's called the Jelly Roll Slice. Maybe. So you strip piece four Jelly Roll strips together and then you put on two and a half inch sashing and you make this block. And you make 24 of this block. Now, I only have 12 of them completed, so I need to do the other 12. And then I made 24 of this kind of block. And this, these two blocks, these two pieces of fabric are... Um, Piece together. That's not the word that I'm strip piece. These are strip pieced. And then you cut and piece these two blocks together and you make it like this. And when you put the two blocks together in the quilt, it'll go like I know you can't see me. It'll go like this, but then you alternate them. So, when I get it all put together, which will be soonish, because again, these are Christmas gifts and I don't want to be fooling around because I have a tendency to be a procrastinator, but I seem to be doing very well um, on the quilting. But I have, I sewed 24 and 12, that's 36 blocks. Um, together on Saturday and yesterday for a little while. I didn't sew all, I didn't sew as long as I probably needed to yesterday. 
Um, but you'll be seeing other Jelly Roll quilts because they're very simple. I am not making uh, lap size quilts. Actually, I'm making, well, some of them might be lap size quilts. Um, but I, I'm not making like bed quilts or anything like that. Um, I think right now, lap size is the biggest size that I want to make because I, I'm not wanting to make anything larger than that. So you'll be seeing more and more quilting um, as I go along. I actually have um, planned to start a table topper and it will be in Christmas fabric. So also I wanna thank everyone um, for your comments about the Pine Mountain designs. Um, it's not that I don't like their patterns. I love their patterns. I am not a Halloween stitcher. And I make no bones about that. I don't celebrate Halloween. I don't any of that. None of that. And so to me, it was just, I was just disappointed because I thought that hopefully they would put out an autumnal but thank you all so very much for your understanding and your uh, help with coming up with something else to do. I actually do have something else um, planned to stitch for it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to start that. Or maybe I need to start that right now so that maybe I can possibly get it done before October. Um, but thank you all so very much. It's not that I don't like their designs. I love all of the ones that I have done so far. Um, I was just a little disappointed that it was Halloween, but that's because I don't like Halloween. I don't celebrate Halloween, and so that's why I felt that way. Um, and I'm sorry if I offended anybody that does like Halloween. You know, I have plenty of friends that celebrate Halloween. Um, and so it's not that, you know, I'm discrediting it or anything. I just don't celebrate it. And so I'm sorry if you were offended by the fact um, that I said I was disappointed about it. Okay. So now I am going to show you some investments. And thanks to Albert. These might be the last ones y'all see for a little while. So I placed an order with Welcome Stitchery, and it is in Blue Earth, Minnesota. And there is their information. Justine is super, super nice. And um, it was great. They have, if I ever make it to Minnesota, I'm going to their shop. Um, I'm going to figure out where Blue Earth is, and I'm going to go to the shop. So, um, I actually watched their floss tube, and I will link it down below. They are hilarious. So, um, but they have, for any of, anyone that is in um, that area, they have quite a bit going on in the area and so you might want to give them a holler and um, see what you might be able to get into. So I placed the order with Justine. It got here super fast. Um, I ordered the Valdonis for Autumn Quaker. Look at that purple right there. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at that purple. I ordered the Autumn Quaker Valdani set. I also ordered Pumpkin Fair by October House Fiber Arts. And I love October House Fiber Arts patterns. So I ordered that one. And then I also ordered Pumpkin Row. 
and deck the halls. So these should be pretty quick finishes um, for me to get together. This, this one, well, the rose. I don't know about the pumpkin fair. That pumpkin looks pretty big to me. The stitch count, oh, 90 by 51 on a 32 count. So maybe, maybe. But those are what I got from Welcome Stitchery. She also included a project journal card, which is really nice. It has information for you on the front, and then it has the uh, calendar days on the back, and it has finishing, all of this information, so it was really good. And then from the Fat Quarter Shop, I received just today my um stitch quarterly and it came in this really cute um bag and i received this is what the chart is and it's called harvest time and in the packet came this beautiful needle minder and this is a bigger needle minder, so it has a bigger magnet on the back, um, which will be really good, like really good if you want. You could actually put your scissors on here and it will hold it. <clears throat> I received all of the DMC floss and a John James needle. This fabric is, um, I'm trying to see. Oh, there it is. It's called Autumn Splendor Sampler. It is a 14 count Ada, but it has words all over it. This is my fabric flare, and you can see all the words. It has, oh, look, if I turn it the right way, you'd be able to read it. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm hoping that it doesn't, that this design doesn't take all of this and I have some left over so that I can use it for um, some other autumnal charts that I have. I think this is awesome. They probably sell it, so I probably could just order a piece too. But it's called Autumn Splendor and it's by Fabric Flare. And this is a 14 count size. And then the last little thing is, is that Lori Holt of BMI Bonnet has come out with another floss tag that they added into this. And it is these cute little pumpkins. And it's got her symbol on it as a B. And it actually has, you know, a place for your ring and then for the floss. Aren't those cute? And they are made of the same thing that the other their other floss holders are made of. So, I was trying to see. You can label them um, with stickers. But... I think these are super cute, and I autumnal uh, floss holders are always great. So that is my floss. I mean, my floss, my uh, stitch quarterly by the Fat Quarter Shop. I should have said if you didn't get yours yet, please look away. Then I, um, they were having a sale, and I again in a. In the um, in interest of gift giving season coming up, I purchased two layer cakes. The first one is by Teresa Kogut, and it is Kringles or Kringle. I have people that love this fabric, so I thought it would be a great choice. And I'm going to show you the pattern that I'm going to use with it. 
And then I ordered, um, these are both by Riley Blake. And then I ordered um, Holiday Cheer by My Mind's Eye. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to turn these around so you can see all of the designs. So there's what all of the fabric in this pack looks like. So it has um, cookies, stockings, words, trees, stripes, dots, Santa, and wreaths. I'm like, what is the word? So there's the fabric. And I will be using this pattern. It is also another free pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. And it's called Layer Cake Loop. And this is what it will look like. It is a smallish lap quilt. You can see that. It will end up being 48 and a half by 48 and a half. And it's probably just big enough to like cover your legs when you're stitching um and that's what i mean for it i don't mean to make like a big old lap quilt or anything just something you know sometimes when you're sitting around your legs get a little chilly that's what i'm making it for and then i also picked up another jelly roll and this is by urban chicks and that's about as, as much as i can show you so it has pinks and greens and probably some, I don't see aqua in here, but nope. Pinks, greens, whites, reds, greens. Did I say greens already? So that's where we are with that. So, it, you know, in the coming weeks, you'll be seeing all of these fabrics uh, made into projects. I um, am really thankful that I have gotten my um, sewing groove back on. Um, it's been a long time coming, and so I am grateful. So my quilting plans for the upcoming week, um, since I'll be going to Keepsakes on Saturday, I don't know how much sewing I will actually get in. I might get some in on Sunday, maybe uh, Friday night, um, but definitely hardly none on Saturday. So... Um, but I plan on finishing the last 12 of the block number one that I need to get together. And then I can start literally putting that quilt together. So I still need to work on the sashing for the quilt blocks that I showed you last week. But that's on the back burner right now because of me working on um, holiday Christmas gifts. Because that's going to be my own quilt. Um, it's it's a very spring, early summer type fabric line. And so it's not like something that needs to get done right away. So that is my quilting. And those are my investments. And I thank you all so very much for all of your comments. I am behind on comments. Um, there were so many comments that I just, um, with working and everything, just was like, okay, I'm going to have to come back to these. Um, <clears throat> and, um, oh, I lost my whole train of thought, sorry. But I will get to them. Um, I, I so appreciate all of your suggestions. I had two of my viewers. Thank you, ladies, so very much. I, I have their names, but I didn't ask for permission to give their names out. They contacted me via email about the crocheting. Um, I did not have the crochet class on this past Friday. She had a medical emergency, and so they will be the class will be rescheduled but we don't know for when so i'm going to just keep practicing every day um on my chain stitches and trying to get the single crochet i got it uh the single crochet better but i need to move on to the double crochet or the half double crochet or 
and a triple crochet like but i'm still enjoying it i did place an order with amazon and amazon messed up my order and sent it to cleveland then whoever in cleveland sent it back to where in michigan like i'm like really i've been getting amazon packages for years now and they ain't never sent no package of mine to cleveland so I'm waiting on my new crochet hooks. Um, one of my um, friends suggested, one of the ladies that emailed me suggested that I use a different kind of hook so that I don't grip so hard. So I'm gonna try those and see. Um, but I keep looking at all this yarn. I am not going to invest in any yarn until I get the basics down because I don't want to be spending money having stuff just sitting here like it's it's when i bring something in it's got to have a purpose now because i got stuff sitting around that is that i've had for years just sitting because i bought it and it was great and now it's just sitting so i'm not buying any yarn until i make sure that uh, this is something that I'm going to do and I'm really going to enjoy it and I'll be able to really make stuff. So, but with all of that said, again, thank you all so very much. I appreciate all your comments. If you could not forget, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I, I had this really, let me tell you. I had this really great saying and then I couldn't remember what the saying was so then I had to look down which kind of takes away the whole thing about giving a closing doesn't it like you got to remember a closing and say it out loud so that you know you can close please don't forget to comment like and subscribe see you love you bye